In this video, we're going to explore where the formula for finding the volume of a triangular prism comes from. First, we're going to back up and look at the volume of a rectangular prism that we discovered in a previous video. Beginning with the base, we'll attempt to find the area using length times width. And since we know for any prism we can find the volume by multiplying the area of the base times the height, we can see that the volume of a rectangular prism can be found using the formula length times width times height. The volume of a triangular prism can be found in a similar manner. By diagonally dividing the rectangular prism down the center, we will actually get two triangular prisms. Since we've essentially cut this rectangular prism in half, it makes sense that we've actually cut the base in half, and thus we're going to have to cut the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism in half as well. And thus, we'll get the volume of a triangular prism, which is the length times the width times the height divided by two. Since many mathematicians typically define the area of a triangle as the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle divided by two, we could write the formula as the base times the height times the height of the prism divided by two. However, the height of the triangle and the height of the actual prism could be confused. So you might want to change the height of the prism to a capital H, or you might want to simply redefine what we call the height of the triangle. Some have used the letter L to replace the height of the triangle, and thus the formula would then be the base times the length of the triangle times the height of the prism divided by two. However, how you choose to write the formula is completely up to you. Now let's look at this from one other angle. First, we divided a rectangular prism in half. In this case, we're going to take that same rectangular prism, but rather than dividing the prism in half, what we're going to do is focus on the base and do the dividing to the actual base prior to multiplying by height to get the prism. We should end up with the same result. Again, the variables you choose to use for the formula are up to you.